let's have some fun. Next time you have a birthday and you need to make a cake, try this as an alternative, especially for those who like chocolate whoopie pies. We're going to make a giant one. Um, in my bowl, I have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add to that a teaspoon of baking powder and a tablespoon of baking soda. Give that a quick whisk. And then I have one and one half cups of good quality cocoa powder. Don't use a cheap one. You use a nice one, the, dark, the darker the better. And now I just want to mix this up well so it gets pretty well incorporated. If you're used to using cocoa, you know how powdery it can get and it goes over everything. If you, if you uh, put it on a mixer or something like that, which is probably what's going to happen to me. It doesn't have to be totally incorporated because it's going to get mixed up when we put it on the mixer. But just give it a good start. That's pretty good. Get that out of here. We'll put that aside for a minute and start with our wet ingredients. I have two sticks or one cup of soft butter. You can see how nice and soft that is. And two cups of all purpose, all purpose, two cups of regular granulated sugar. We got flour on the brain. Okay, and now we're going to just mix this up well. And once that's mixed up, we're going to add to it two eggs, some vanilla, a teaspoon, and two cups of buttermilk. I'll put in my vanilla right now. I'm running low on vanilla. I just started a couple of new batches. I make my own. Now I'm going to add the eggs. These are going to bake in a 400 degree oven anywhere from 14 to 18 minutes because they're big. Um, but I would check them at 12. Just keep checking, you know, when they spring back when you touch them. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my guard because I'm using cocoa and it has that tendency to fly all over the place. And I'm going to start by putting in some of the flour cocoa mixture. Four scoops. Now I'll add some of the milk. the flour. More of the milk. Yep, there goes some of that cocoa powder. That for last. Now the rest of the milk. Ah! <laughs> How did I know that was going to happen? Okay, this time I'm 
going to take it off. I don't want to scrape down the side. Add the rest of the flour and cocoa mixture. Chocolate snow. Putting that guard back on. I can't trust this. That can be very messy sometimes. But the results are good. Sometimes if you start real slow and pulses, it's not as bad. good. We're done with that. So I have my sheet pans. I have two of them. I want a top and a bottom. And I've lined them in parchment paper. And what I did is I took a bowl that would fit between my sheet. It wasn't any bigger. And I made a circle. That's how big my whoopie pie is going to be. And I just turn it over so that I'm not putting the whoopie pie on the lead pencil. Now, got my scoop. For every scoop I put on this one, I'm gonna put one on that one. And you just kinda spread them out a little bit. Five or six will do it. I'll start with five and see how that spreads out. Oops. Okay, now. I'll worry about that later. Now, with my little offset spatula or a knife or whatever else you have, kind of just spread it out. You want it even. I'm going to have to definitely put more on here. I'm going to add at least two more. I've made these for birthdays before and kids like them, kids of all ages. And another. And just bring it all the way out to the line. Try to keep it as even as possible so you, that you'll have two, a top and a bottom that match. If they're a little bit off, it's not that big a deal because you can always cover it up, your mistakes, with the cream in the middle. I think that's what Julia Child used to say. You know, if he had mistakes in baking, he just covered it up with whipped cream and nobody noticed. Okay, it's a little bit thin over here. I'm going to add a little bit more. And that's basically what you do to get it prepared. Now, I won't bore you by having you watch me do the other one. But I will do the other one. And then I will get them into a 400 degree oven. Like I said, anywhere from 14 to 18 minutes. And then I'll show you what they look like when they come up. Here are our giant whoopie pies out of the oven. Look good, don't they? 
as you can see, they're very large. This one's a little more cracked than this one, so this will probably end up being my top, which is going to show more. But I am not going to even try to move these until they are completely cool. They are staying on these racks until then, until they're cold, cold. Then I will show you what I use to get them off because how do you pick this up? I'm going to show you. All right, be back in just a bit. Time to have some fun again. We're going to put our giant whoopie pie together. Now, I told you about getting these off. The first one's easy to get off because you just invert a plate over it that you're going to serve it on. Turn this over and peel off the paper. That was easy. Second one, a little harder. You're going to have to wait a minute. Okay, put that off to the side. And now we're going to make our filling. So in here I have two 16 ounce containers of marshmallow cream, a good quality. I didn't want you to see me scraping it out, so I just put it in there. To that we're going to add one pound of butter. This is a double recipe uh, because uh, I have a lot of whoopie pies to fill. What I didn't mention to you before is when you make these and you saw how many scoops I put on, I still had a lot of mixture left. So what I did is I just made individual small ones that I'll put in my freezer and use some other time. So here we go with this. I'm going to just mix this part up, get it well creamed. Come on, baby. There we go. Normally, if you, if you want, it's probably easier to do this in two separate batches. I'm just trying to save a little time today. Alright, that's pretty good. Now we're going to add some confectioner's sugar. Now, just like cocoa, this stuff is really powdered and it has a tendency to go everywhere. And I always do that. Always make a mess. So three cups. Again, you can half this recipe for smaller items, just small pies. I'm going to use this and hope that it works, that I don't get too covered in confectioner sugar. Start off slow and pulses. I just know as soon as I let it go, it's gonna. Not too bad. hands which are getting sticky and look at that cream it's beautiful and you can use this in all kinds of whoopie pies so I want to make this decorative but I don't have to make the middle decorative because no one's going to see it after I put the cover on so I'm going to start off by putting some of the filling this. Okay. Now I'm going to spread it out, but I'm going to leave an edge. If you find a little piece of butter that didn't get incorporated, I think I got it. I'm not sure. Won't matter. Butter's good. Okay. 
Now, I have a piping bag with a decorative tip, whatever kind you like. If you want to do it this way, you don't have to. You can just bring this all the way to the edges. And I'm going to fill this up. Found a couple more pieces of butter that didn't get incorporated. Yummy, this stuff is so good. Now back to this. And now, because this will show along the edges when you put the other top on. There we go. Get this out of the way for the moment. Now, we'll get back to that top that I told you that might be a little bit tricky. First thing we're going to do, because it's on parchment paper, is take it off. Now, over the years, you can, because it's cold, you can probably take a chance and lift it up and put it on there. You could freeze it like this for about 10 or 15 minutes and then move it. But then I think you get some liquid into it. However, if you have a scraper, like this kitchen scraper some people do or I use my pizza peel the wooden ones are too thick this is a metal one it's got a nice thin edge so it's easy to scoop and cut underneath this or you could probably use a couple of spatulas there now it's off and I can handle it so much better there there is our giant whoopie pie and if you want to you can decorate the top maybe I can put a nice squiggle on here shave some chocolate on it or you could have written happy birthday on it happy anniversary whatever there's that giant chocolate whoopie pie <laughs>